All right, now it's truly a green, clean housewife hacks and tips, right? Well, thanks for joining us. I'm Stacy McDonald, and I've been using essential oils for over 20 years now, and I've been with Young Living for 13 of those. I was a pastor's wife, um, homeschooling 10 kids on a tight budget, so we were frugal by necessity. I also have um, Amy Corrigan and Shanna Carlin on here tonight, and they're going to help me. Um, we ran in the same circles, so we kind of all were on the same page with wanting to have that whole green clean experience. Like so many other women, I started to become more and more concerned about all the toxic chemicals in our home. So I started looking for natural options that I could afford. This is a hot topic for a lot of people right now, because as moms, we all want to know how to clean our homes without exposing our whole family to toxic chemicals. And they're in everything. That's one of the problems. Let me move this slide real quick. Here we go. Okay, so as moms, we want our kids living in a safe and peaceful and clean environment. So having a reasonable clean home is a priority for most of us as moms. And it's super upsetting when you realize that a lot of the tools on the market for keeping your home clean are actually toxic and dangerous to your family. So check those labels. Don't just blindly trust the commercials because y'all, they'll lie to you. <laughs> There's a reason that most cleaning supply labels tell you to wear gloves or to use in a well-ventilated room or to guard your eyes, you know, because you might splash all that junk in your eyes. Don't get it on your skin. Contact poison control immediately if it gets ingested. Keep out of the reach of children. It's because it's poison. There was a study done by the Env Environmental Protection Agency stating that women had a 54% higher chance of dying of cancer because of exposure to cleaning products. It was also, they also said that indoor air may be twice as polluted than outdoor air. So, so much about all the noxious fumes coming from the cars, right? The, the most your, your safe place, the place that's supposed to be your safe place can be more dangerous. Another study by the Environmental Working Group tested the umbilical cords of 10 unborn babies. The study showed that there were 287 toxic chemicals, an average of 200 per baby within the cord itself. Among these topic, toxic chemicals were 28 waste products. 47 consumer products, and 212 industrial chemical and pesticides in an umbilical cord. That's terrifying to me. I've heard similar studies about breast milk. And y'all, it's not just in our cleaning supplies. It's in a lot of products we may have around the house, even products they say are all natural, especially products that list fragrance in the ingredient list. Fragrant, fragrance is a huge culprit. When you see that, that's a big red flag because they can hide all kinds of toxic chemicals under the word fragrance. They don't have to actually list everything because there's copyright laws involved. But tonight, we're going to focus mostly on the cleaning supplies because they're, they are, what we're going to be talking about tonight is so easily swapped out for the products that, we're, that, that are toxic. The, we're going to be go, focusing on the Thieves Home Loyalty Bundle which makes it super easy to greatly reduce your toxic load all in one big swoop. These are all based on our most popular essential oil blend, Thieves, which many of you have already heard about and have already tried and used and loved. Um, Thieves contains the powerful essential oils, lemon, clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. And it smells amazing. It smells way better than bleach or fake pine, that's for sure which is in, you know, what most, most of that stuff smells like. Okay, so once you get how toxic our environment is, you start, to, you start to see the things around your home with new eyes because the things in our homes are what affect us most because it's what, you know, it's what we're coming into contact with all day long. What we clean our house with touches our skin. It gets into our bloodstream and it can even affect our DNA. Think about it. I woke up one day and I realized my babies were crawling on the floor on their hands and knees on, on a floor that I had just cleaned with some random toxic neon blue liquid. 
the same one that had all those warnings on the back, that's what my baby's hands were touching when they were going to go sucking on their hands later. You know, you know how they do. <laughs> and my family was eating fruits and vegetables out of that refrigerator that I just cleaned with toxic chemicals. They were sleeping on sheets and laying their faces on pillowcases that I had dried with toxic dryer sheets. And Amy will be talking about a little bit more about dryer sheets in a little bit. She's got a story on that one. I was drying my babies with towels coated in chemicals from those same dryer sheets. Think about it. Are you soaking in a tub that you just scrubbed with a cleaner that has, has no, known carcinogens in it? I mean, you know, you scrub that tub down because you want a clean tub to get into. But if you just scrubbed it with toxic chemicals and then you're soaking in that tub, what do you think's getting into your pores? you know, with that hot water. And maybe you're even using bubble bath or body lotion that has synthetic chemical fragrances in it that contain endocrine disruptors. And you're wondering why your hormones are all wrecked. Now, I know this can seem really overwhelming, but honestly, it's really easier and way less expensive than you think to make the switch. Amy, did you have something you wanted to share about endocrine disruptors? I know we were talking about that earlier today. So yeah, um, one of the biggest reasons that um, doctors that are studying um, hormonal imbalance because it's huge, it's way worse now than it used to be. I mean, it's natural for your hormones to gradually um lessen as you get older and go through menopause and all that because your cycles are going to stop and everything but the abrupt changes that we're seeing in our society um for instance the age of the average age of a girl's first uh cycle has gone from like 15 to 9 that's the average age now 9 years old and that is like crazy scary and they and most of the um, researchers that are researching this believe that the main reason is because of all the things that we use on a daily basis that are endocrine disruptors. What that means is they go into your body and they mimic your hormones, but they're not exactly the same. <clears throat> they fill those receptor sites and they have a way more radical um, effects and obviously an unnatural effect that God did not intend on your hormone receptors, which causes you to have a hormone imbalance. Um, and so when I first started on my journey to try to balance my hormones, my uh, functional medicine doctor told me that if I was overwhelmed, this was before I was even using oils, but he told me if I was overwhelmed by getting rid of all the toxic stuff in my house, that the first thing that I should do is get rid of laundry detergent and fabric softener because he said those are two of the worst endocrine disrupting um, items that the average American has in their house. So and that makes no sense. That's on our clothes. So we're wearing yes. it all day long. Mm -hmm. Because um, when you put something on your skin, even though what you eat is important and what you ingest is important, your body actually has natural mechanisms that help to counteract things when you eat them. Now they don't complete, it doesn't completely counteract chemicals and things, but you do have mechanisms that do that. Whereas if it goes straight through your skin, it goes straight into your bloodstream and it's anywhere from like 10 to 500 times as potent of an effect on your hormone receptors. Wow. So when you walk around, for instance, I cringe every time I see the commercial the gang commercial for the scent that is supposed to last for like a month, you know, because that's like, they're putting like 50 times, <clears throat> excuse me. They're putting like 50 times more of that crazy scent. And they're also attaching it to a molecule that is going to sit in the fibers of your clothing. That's how that scent stays there. It has mm -hmm. another toxic molecule that it's attached to. So you're putting that and, and all detergents that smell, you know, you'll hear people say, well, I don't like to use a natural detergent because I don't, I like my clothes to smell good. That is a severe sign of toxicity because when it's, when you're smelling it now, you can, um, I'm going to talk about the laundry detergent in just a few minutes and I'll give you a trick on how to make your clothes smell like essential oils. Um, definitely not going to last a month 
but you don't want it to last a month because if it lasts a month, that means it's attached to a toxic chemical, a toxic molecule that's making it embed itself into your clothing. So yeah, endocrine disruptors are a huge thing. It literally means that they are disrupting your endocrine system, which is the system that your body uses to turn off and on hormones and hormones literally control almost everything in your body. So you de almost all of the common chemicals that you use in your, you know, daily life before you found natural products, they're almost all endocrine. I mean, they are all endocrine disruptors. The other thing that people don't talk about as much is the average male's testosterone is crazy low in our society. And that's the reason why, because mm -hmm. those receptors for mm -hmm. testosterone are being blocked by these endocrine disruptors. So that's a huge problem too. Also, that's there's no simple simple fix to these things it's it is a lifestyle change mm -hmm. yes <clears throat> yeah the other the, thing to think about is, Stacey, with the other thing to think about with the laundry detergent i know we're going to get to this but gosh this this just blows my mind most people have their clothes in their bedroom in their closet in their drawers all of those chemicals are off gassing all night long as you sleep in your bedroom Right. If you're using from your pillowcase that you mm -hmm. have to race against. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, we went I to mean, an Airbnb does. once and I had to go find a towel from a beach towel from my suitcase to put over the pillow because I could not, I, I could not, I had a headache and it was just grossing me out mm -hmm. and I was exhausted and I couldn't get to sleep because I've got my face on this pillow. Because I yes. usually I try to bring uh, my own pillow, but I've your, your underwear. You know, that's kind of a taboo subject, but your underwear is literally on your reproductive organs, you know, like yeah. couples who are trying to conceive, if you're putting, you know, if you're using this gain extended scent or whatever, then that is sitting on your husband's baby maker. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, right? I, I mean, it's, it's like, guys, you can't do this, you know, and doctors are not telling people this. Doctors are like, well, let's give you fertility drugs. Let's do this, let's do that. When just like Stacey said, there's such a simple fix. You just get rid of that stuff out of your house. And there's so many things that you can do to make that make our products last longer um, to where you'll actually be spending less, which is the amazing part. You can actually lessen your budget for cleaning supplies yep. by using products that are healthy for you. And we're going to get into all that too. We have some have some good stuff for you. Um, like the rest of you ladies, one of the main reasons I started with Young Living was to detox my life. I wanted, I, I just wanted to reduce toxins. I wasn't even trying to detox at that point. I didn't, I didn't understand how bad it was or how important it was, but I knew it was bad. So I wanted to reduce the toxins, mo mostly because I was thinking about my kids you know, uh, with their hand, hand crawling around on the floor. It just grossed me out when that, you know how kids will do, they'll lay down flat on the floor and start to lick it or things like that. They're just always putting everything in their mouth. I didn't want those, that, those chemicals on them. Just, I didn't want the dirt on them either though. So I wanted to find natural ways to do it. And so that was why I got into it. I wanted to make my own carpet freshener. I wanted to make my own perfume. I wanted to make bath products. And, and I loved for things to smell good. I was one of those obnoxious kids in high school that would douse themselves in all the toxic perfume. I loved smoke. Now I think it stinks. It's like once you detox, then all those toxic chemicals smell obnoxious to you, literally. Um, and I was also interested in home remedies, but those were the main reasons I got into it. And then once I started to see, you know, such changes, I started to blog about, I started blogging about it. I was a blogger at the time. And so that was my main platform. I used to teach other women homemaking tips for moms and things like that. Uh, mostly other homeschooling moms at the time. And soon those same women were running to get on board. And so that's how things kind of took off. The more I learned about oils and the more I detoxed my life, the more passionate I became about this lifestyle. And as we know, passion is contagious. And so that's where, that's where our team kind of came from. So why the Young Living and not some other company? Well, I knew that Young Living had been around a long time. I mean, for over 28 years now, Young Living has set the standard for purity and authenticity. 
Young Living's the oldest and most trusted essential oil company in the world. And I wanted the very best for my family. So why wouldn't I, you know, choose the best? All of Young Living's products are sourced from either our own farms, which I've been to a lot of them. A lot of you have too or other carefully vetted partner farms and seed to seal certified suppliers. And we test all of it extensively. If our exhaustive tests show that a product doesn't meet our standards, it's immediately rejected. Gary was so adamant about this. If you ever heard him speak, that was something that he was passionate about. He wanted only the very best and the things that were the most efficacious. And purity was huge to him. He set that standard from the beginning. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to seedtoseal.com, but we're going to get into some more practical tips right now. All right, let me move this slide along here. That's not what I was looking for right now. Okay, this is one of my favorite bundles because it comes with all the actual products that I use regularly. And it comes with this cute little spray bottle too that I love. Um, it's also affordable because it replaces so many things that you probably don't even realize are costing you so much. And trust me, in addition to costing you your long-term health, those products are costing you cold, hard cash too. You can clean your home with these products so much more economically. Now, this bundle is 160 and you're getting a value of over 264 um, for getting it as a bundle, but you're getting way more than that because over time, you're going to be saving a ton. Um, so even just the thieves cleaner alone, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and stop screen sharing here. So we can, we can okay. So the thieves cleaner, you can actually make 30 bottles of this with this one bottle, 30 bottles of cleaner. Okay. So it does depend on how much you're diluting it. So the, if you're doing, you know, I'm going to use way more concentration for cleaning my tub than I am for, say, cleaning my windows. I want it pretty diluted for my windows. It does not streak when you do it, when you dilute it enough. I've, I've been using it on my windows and mirrors for years now, and I love it. But if I'm cleaning my tub or a toilet or something, I'm going to have it a little more concentrated than that. So that does depend, but you can make a ton of cleaner. And I don't know, it comes to like what? A, a dollar a bottle, I think we figured. And so again, depending on how, you know, how concentrated you're making it, but you can make it for about a dollar a bottle. What cleaner, you know, on the market right now can you get for that cheap? And you're, this is, you know, without all the toxins, this is smelling amazing. It has plant product in it. So you're smelling the essential oils. You're smelling the, the rosemary and the cinnamon and the clove and the eucalyptus. That's what I want my house to smell like, you know, not, not a fake pine or, or bleach, which, you know, smell, everything winds up smelling like, ugh, like a pool. So the thieves cleaner can clean all kinds of things. You, I, I was able to get rid of just about everything under my counter with just this bottle of thieves. It was amazing. When we, when I went to purge, I got rid of my window cleaner. I got rid of my toilet cleaner. I got rid of my the stuff I was using on my floors and tubs. I got rid of um, just everything. And then there were things that I shouldn't have been using, you know, like maybe uh, a refrigerator cleaner. There, it, you know, maybe, I don't know if there even is something that specifically for the refrigerator. I used to use bleach water. And sometimes I use pine salt, <laughs> you know? So there were things that I was using in there that they have fumes and not only are the, is the food, you know, possibly touching the surface, but it's all, they also have fumes that are getting into your food. Just like, you know, anything has fumes, but I was able to replace all those things. I can, I clean my toy, my tile. Oh, and kids toys. I mean, at our, at our church, we used to clean toys with bleach water. We'd make a big tub of it and click because, you know, kids are all putting it in their mouths and everything else. Y'all, it wouldn't matter if they put this in their mouth because what? This is plants, right? It's crazy. We could be poisoning people. I clean my, my son's tennis shoes with thieves. I can just spray that on the, on the white tennis shoes and it just wipes clean. I had a plant. 
I had a big plant that I had out of my back patio and I brought it in for the winter. And um, in the spring, I saw the there was there were new leaves coming out and it was looking really good. But those the, the other leaves, the older leaves that had been, you know, from when it was outside were all gross looking. And I thought it had a fungus or something because it looks so drastically different. One had, you know, it's like a white film. And um, anyway, I, I thought, you know, I wonder if the thieves would help. And so I, I started wiping the leaves with that and they looked gorgeous underneath. And I don't know if there was anything wrong with the plant, like if it did have some kind of fungus or something. Or if it was just dirty, but either way, I used this and it got it clean and it looked beautiful again. <laughs> so I use it on my plants now too. I spray them down. Um, I you can use it on your stove surface. I would say microwave, but you shouldn't be using a microwave, so I'm not going to say that. But you can use it on all that, all your appliances, on your toaster, all that stuff, and you don't have to worry about oh no, I can't get you know I can't spray this on my toaster because it might get in there and then touch my food because this is plants. Um, you can also use it to boost other cleaning hacks we're going to talk about. They go in some of our little recipes that we'll, that we'll discuss to boost the scrub or whatever, laundry hacks. Um, but y'all, you can use this for so many things. And again, this can just replace everything. And you can add other oils to it. Like at Christmas time, I like to add Christmas spirit to the thieves cleaner to give it kind of a, a you know, a nice Christmassy smell. Um, or you can use, um, What's the other one that we, oh, the winter, uh, what is it? Spirit winter winter. nights. Yeah, winter nights. You can use, you know, you put other things in there. You can um, add more pine to it or, you know, or more eucalyptus or rosemary if you want to give it a stronger scent on one of those. In the summer, you can use lemon and orange and grapefruit or luscious lemon is really nice. That's one I'd like to use. Um, not everybody in our family loves that, but I love the luscious lemon. Um, but anyway, this bundle also comes with this nice glass bottle, which is kind of cool. I also get the clear glass bottles off of Amazon and I have these downloadable labels that it just says household cleaner on it. Um, and then it has luscious lemon under it because that's what I like to add to this bottle because it has all the cute little lemons on it. But that's a free download. Um, I have a Canva link we can drop in the comment section if you want to download that. And then you can just get the Avery labels that are sheets of stickers and then you can just cut them out to be the right shape. I use a uh, paper cutter. But that's, you know, that's a way to, to DIY your cleaner. Um, okay, let's move on to the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. And I did not bring a bottle in here. Did anybody else bring one of the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap? I have this, but this is not the original bottle that it comes in. Okay, go ahead. You were going to talk but about I would like to talk about that. Yeah. So, um, guys, you know how terrible antibacterial soap is for you? Um, I actually learned a lot about the toxins of antibacterial, antiviral soap a long time ago. So, let's think about this for a minute. If something is chemically designed to kill bacteria, it's killing all the bacteria. And we don't really want that because we need the good bacteria on our bodies. So um, even as a birth doula, this is something that we talk about all the time in the birth world because they're literally, I won't go into details, but they are using that antibacterial soap in places that antibacterial soap should never be, okay? And so um, as a birth doula, I have to educate my clients on this. Like, it, like it's really astonishing how uh brainwashed we are uh for bacteria and it's it's good some bacteria is good and that's what i love about the thieves dish soap for, or the i'm sorry i'm gonna talk about dish soap too but that's what i love about the hand soap is that um the foaming hand soap does not dry your skin out but it also does not kill all of the good bacteria. See, these essential oils are incredibly intelligent and um, they know how to build a healthy microbiome on our bodies. So I, I personally love that. That is so exciting to me that myself and my children of any age can use this hand soap in our bathroom or at our kitchen sink 
and I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about them putting their hands in their mouth after they use it. I don't have to worry about what's soaking into their skin. And it's just incredible. And on top of that, as a stay at home mom, it is sometimes feels a little overwhelming in the house with all the housework and making things look beautiful. So I really enjoy that guests can come over and have this gorgeous designer looking bottle sitting on the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink. And um, it's just my favorite thing. And I am really into like saving the planet too. Um, that, that's one of my things. I believe we should take care of the earth. So we're not only taking care of the earth by not washing all those chemicals into the earth as we're using these soaps, but we're also taking care of the earth by buying the concentrated refills of these uh, of the hand soap and then there's also a luscious lemon one too which is beautiful and smells amazing so um yeah that's that's what i love about the thieves hand soap and i i'm very very frugal so it actually took me a long time to get on board but when i realized how long it lasts um it's one little squirt and it lasts forever so in a large family that was really really important to me so yeah i i love the hand soap it is so good it smells so yummy and too i have to add you're building your immune system every time you use it because it's got the thieves essential oil in there yes i love that I was trying to find the link for the um, the recipes, but I don't think I have it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Shanna. Yeah, I love the foaming hand soap. And just as a note, um, this is the luscious lemon one, but um, there's a big, there's a giant thieves refill bottle too. And so you can get these in the big refills. So it's more economical even than that. Okay. All right. And then there's the Thieves Laundry Soap. And I'm going to post Amy's link for pump bottles. But Amy, you want to take that, that on? Sure. Um, I just posted Stacy's um, Thieves Cleaner label. I don't know if you posted that, Stacey, did you? I didn't. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so that's the link to that. Okay, um, we're doing so many things. Tonight. And all of these links can also be found on our um, on our, our class, uh, I think most of the links anyway, on our class uh, themes page, the class resource page. Okay, and this link right here to, is, an, is Amy's link to uh, the bottles that she's going to be talking about in this uh, when we talk about the laundry soap. Yeah, so this is the bottle that Stacy's posting the link for. I'm sure you can find prettier ones, um, but this one is BPA free, um, super cheap. You get three of them for 15 bucks. So if you grab, I only keep one of them mixed up at a time. Um, so if you grab two friends, you can get your bottle for $5. I've had these for at least a year and they hold up really well. The pumps still work really well. And I do a lot of laundry guys, a lot of laundry. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so what I do with it, this, I'm going to tell you guys about the, the, these laundry detergent. First of all, um, talk, we talked about this when we we're talking about the endocrine disruptors, but detergent and fabric softener. If you get rid of one thing in your house, get rid of that. Of course, get rid of it all. But it's horrible for you. Horrible. Mainly because, like we talked about, it stays in the fibers of your clothing. And it builds up in the fibers of your clothing. And I know you've heard people talk about stripping their laundry. Because once you, if you've had clothes for a while, they start to get dingy. They start to not be as white. And that's because the detergent, whichever kind you're using, is building up in the fibers of your clothing. Because we use synthetic fibers so much in our clothing that they attract this stuff. Um, it actually does happen with natural detergent too. Um, natu most natural detergent, if it's good natural detergent, 
will use uh, coconut derived things for as surfactants, including thieves, and it will eventually build up in your clothing. Um, the good thing about when thieves does it is that it's totally harmless. It's not going to hurt you. Um, you can strip your laundry. Um, if you start to notice that your whites are just not looking right, or if your fibers in your clothing are not looking the same or not as new, um, I'm going to post a link to something that I use to strip my laundry that is super easy. Um, and I have vetted the ingredients in this. It actually has a lot of the same ingredients that, um, that the scrub that we're going to talk about, the Young Living Scrub, has in it. So it's perfectly natural. It's not a cleaner. So it's not going to clean. I mean, it will a little bit clean your clothes. It's mostly going to strip the things that are in your clothing. Okay. All you have to do is throw one of these in, do your laundry, and then and then right after you do the um, the length of it's called Grovia is the name of the product. Right after you do that, then do wash it again with the thieves clean thieves uh, laundry detergent. You will see a huge difference in how your clothing looks, smells, all of that. Okay, that's just an added thing. But <laughs> the um, the laundry detergent, there's so much out there that is green washed. So much detergent out there that has junk in it and you're not, and they're advertising it as a natural product. Um, my daughter, my oldest, she does her own laundry, has been for years, but she is very much a scent person. She wants all the things that smell good. And she's like, I bought the seventh generation laundry detergent. I'm going to start using that. And I'm like, nope, do not put that in my washing machine <laughs> because it literally has fragrance as an ingredient. And you guys, fragrance, it's a cut cover for chemical junk, okay? All they have to do, Stacy talked about this, all they have to do is tell, people, tell the government or the powers that be, EPA, whoever it is, that they don't want to disclose what's in the fragrance because it's proprietary and it's a copyright and they don't want someone to copy it because we all go around copying the fragrances in our detergent, you know? But, um, <laughs> but they do that because they can, they can hide the junk. Um, and so you do not want to use anything that says fragrance. Um, I'm so sorry. My dog scratched another one. Um, but anyway, so I looked on that bottle and I was like, nope, not putting this in my washer because I don't want it building up in my washer. It's got fragrance in it. Right. So you just have to be very careful. Young Living's, guess what we use for fragrance? The same thing that we use in the thieves cleaner. The oils, that's what we use for fragrance. That's why my daughter's like, I don't smell anything on the clothes. Well, that's good. You're not supposed to smell anything. They're supposed to be clean. Um, so what I do is I take the Thieves laundry detergent. And I think Stacey's going to post the recipe that I use. But what I do is I take, this is 32 ounces, which is the same, I believe, as the detergent. The, deter the detergent is 32 ounces, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So I take the detergent, I buy my detergent, I fill up this bottle halfway with the Thieves detergent, okay? So I'm using half a bottle so I can make two of these out of one, okay? Some people do it in thirds. I'm sure it probably would work fine if you did it in thirds and it would be even cheaper. Um, I do it in halves because I always overdo cleaner. That's just my nature. So <laughs> I do it half. Then what I found makes a huge difference in getting out like tough stains. My kids played sports, ground in dirt, grease, funk, is I take the dishwashing liquid and I put for anywhere from a third to a half of a bottle of the dishwashing liquid, add it to the thieves detergent um, in this bottle. Then I put 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of purification. You could do another scent. I have found that the purification just really neutralizes any kind of odor that you have. Um, and so I use pur purification and lemon because lemon boosts the cleaning power. Um, so I do 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops purification. I have put like peace and calming in it before just because I love the smell. You know, you could put whatever you want. But I'm just going to tell you that when you put your clothes into the dryer, if you use heat, especially if you use high heat on your clothes, the essential oils are going to dissipate. Okay. So you're not going to get that lasting smell in your laundry, which is not a big deal. But if you do want that lasting smell, what I've found is a great trick is to get dryer balls, which young, we still have the dryer balls, right? The little I, think dryer balls. I think but we even do. But even if even if we don't, they have them, they're all over yes. Amazon. Amazon has them. Just look. 
and it doesn't really matter which ones you buy just get the 100 percent wool because they're all wool okay yeah. it helps cut down on static you can put the oils on it but the trick here is that you want to wait until your clothes are dry then go into your laundry room get your laundry uh, your wool dryer ball and put whatever scent you would like your clothes to smell like on the dryer ball i usually use about four or five drops put it back in the dryer put your set your dryer to air only and I'm pretty sure almost all dryers have this because you can use it for, um, you know, like fabric that can't have heat. Um, air only. The reason you're doing that is because then the heat is not going to um, dissipate the oils and it's going to, the scent is going to stay on your clothes and they will smell amazing. So that's another tip. Um, dryer sheets are absolutely horrible. The other thing that I like to use um, when I do like blankets that tend to get a lot of static in them, um, especially in the winter, I will use the um, Seedlings Baby Wipes as fabric softener. Um, super cheap. Yes. I would say probably not any more expensive than the crud toxic dryer sheets. I put one or two of those like when I'm doing like a comforter or sheets and it makes them smell great, especially if you wait and do what I said and do it on the air only. And it helps get rid of static and soften your fabric like a fabric softener. It's funny that you say that because, um, you know, we don't have any babies around anymore. So a lot of times I'll open one up because, you know, grandbabies are over. And then by the time I go to use it again, they're all dried out. So um, that's one thing I was doing is I would just keep the dried out ones and keep it in the laundry room and just put oils on it and throw it into the dryer. So that's yep. interesting that you said that too, because that's yep. they're kind of the same texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they almost look like dryer sheets. When you take yeah. them out, when you take them out of the dryer and they're stuck to your sheet or whatever, you would swear it was a dryer sheet. Um, right. Sydney said, put a safety pin in the dryer ball. That's true. It does help with the static. So you can put a safety pin in a dryer ball. Speaking of static, I don't know if y'all saw my post recently when my granddaughter has really long hair and she was literally walking around. I had a picture. Her hair was sticking straight out in the air with static. <laughs> I was like, it's just driving me crazy. <laughs> But I went and I took um, a couple of drops of lavender, just rubbed it in my hands and ran it through her hair completely. No static. It was amazing. Yeah. And the dryer, the, the dryer sheets, they're not dryer sheets. The seedlings baby wipes have lavender in them. So yeah. yeah. The other yeah, thing that I just thought of is if your, your wool products, your, your wool sweaters, your, you know, anything that you're worried about getting moss in, if you were to put a couple of drops of tea tree oil um, on the, that dryer ball and air fluff it, it would deter any type of moth um, that could get into those clothing that you store away. Cedar would spray would everything down spray. with the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, who here has tried out the thieves? Oh, by the way, that recipe link, um, when you first, that's a, it's a link to a Canva template. So when you click on it, you're only going to see the top one. So if you want to see the other recipes, you need to scroll down. There's a couple of recipes in there. So this is a Thieves Veggie Wash. Who has used the Thieves Veggie Wash, y'all? So I had not used it for, I mean, I thought it was a cool concept, but I was too lazy to be honest. So I wasn't doing it. I just was rinsing it off of whatever. And sometimes I would squirt it just with my Thieves Cleaner because I'm thinking, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but I actually, it was Susan Downer who was telling me about how she was using it and how forever her husband had almost wanted her to stop buying berries because the berries would mold so fast from the grocery store, especially in the winter. And so she, he was like, just don't even buy them anymore. And so she had gotten some berries and thought she's got to keep these things, you know, fresh. So she went ahead and she put her cap full in a bowl and added water and she put her berries in there you know drained it all out and it stayed for like a week in the fridge without any problem she said she's never had it last so long have them had them last so long in the fridge and um she may have even said longer than that but I, I would hesitate to say any longer because I can't imagine but um I've done it with grapes now I've done it anything actually when I first get home from when I first take things home from the uh, grocery, I try to do that as quickly as possible just for storing in the fridge, even if I'm not going to use it. Because And it makes sense when you think about the thieves and what it does. You know, I mean, there's, 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 there's 
uh, books out about mold, right? And things like that. So you can put two and two together here, but it makes sense that these would help your grapes to last so long or your greens. In fact, I don't know if it's my imagination, but when I wash my, when I rinse, when I do my uh, kale or my lettuce or anything, and I wash it in this, to me, it looks greener when I'm done. It's like amazing. It just cleans it all up. And that water that is left over afterwards, after you wash all this, it's kind of gross. I mean, it's amazing that that was on, I mean, we get organic vegetables, so I don't have to worry about the pesticide side of it, but all that dirt was on there, especially stuff like kale. And it doesn't come off that easily. You're rinsing it, but you want it clean too. So you don't want all the mud and sometimes there's bugs in there. <laughs> so I love that. I feel like it's so clean when I'm done. And when you're scrubbing um, like radishes and things like that, that stuff's been in the earth. It's been in the dirt. You never know what animals have been. <laughs> it's just like, Really, we want to have this stuff clean, not to mention it's been in the grocery store, it's been on trucks on the way to who who knows where with, you know, all the fumes and everything. It's, it's people have been throwing it to each other off the trucks. And then all the people in the grocery store have been handling it and looking at it, and, you know, who knows what. So the fact that I can get everything nice and clean makes this germaphobe very happy. <laughs> Anybody else have any... Uh, any veggie stories, veggie, sto veggie uh, cleaner stories? All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the kitchen and bath scrub. Um, did I bring, yeah, I did bring it. Okay, so this is one of my favorites too. Now, before we had this, I was actually using our uh, feed dishwasher powder as a scrub. I was using that on my grout. I was using it on everything. And I just put it into like a, a Parmesan shaker. And before that, I was using um, baking powder and um, and essential oils using the thieves. But I will say that did not work as good because it doesn't have the, it didn't have quite enough scrub. The dishwasher soap did, I mean, dishwasher powder worked a lot better, but this works. This is amazing. I have seen, I, I actually, I think I showed y'all a picture of my pot that I thought I was going to have to throw away, my good salad master pot that I was super upset about. Um, well, I had left, what was I cooking? Oh, no, I can't even remember. Oh, it's just bone broth. I was literally just heating up bone broth. And my my son had been sick and um, he wanted some bone broth. So I had it heating. So I had it like on high. And I came in my office because he was standing right there waiting for it to heat up. So I thought he was watching it. And apparently he had gone back upstairs because I hear this, mom. And I ran in there and it had completely boiled out. And he said that there was like this big torrent of smoke going up from it. And I mean, it was, it was bad. It was, I've never, I don't even, who knew there was so much in bone broth that could actually burn. You know what I mean? But it did. And it was thick and it was black and it would not come off. I tried it with a spatula. I mean, it was like part of the pot now. And, um, and I tried to soak it overnight and I thought, well, so that's what I did at first. I put a, I put a cap full of thieves cleaner in there and I tried to soak it overnight. And, um, James saw it in the morning and said, what did you do to my pot? It's like, oh, anyway. So I thought, I thought, I don't know if this is, I don't know what I'm going to use to get that off. I don't think, I don't know what's going to work. And, um, anyway, so my friend had come over and she made a concoction with, the thieves powder and um, I hope she used the dish soap. I think she used the dish soap. It was either the dish, the, it was either the dish soap and the scrub or the scrub and the thieves cleaner. But she kind of made a little paste with it. It literally came completely off and it was like shiny stainless steel again. And she was kind of braggy about it, but it was her. That, I have to give her credit. She's the one that did it. I had my own doubts, but it worked. And, um, and we also used the same concoction on my copper sink and it came out beautiful and shiny too. So that was super exciting. But anyway, I love this stuff. We use it on the grout, we use it on everything. And if you're one of those people, I mean, I do like to have things in pretty little containers. I put all my vitamins into cute mason jars and things so that I have them out and I remember to take them. But you could put this in a little Parmesan shaker too if you wanna just keep it out by your sink and it's really cute. So. 
That's my that's my thieves soap scrub. Okay, so let's move on to dish soap. And the dish soap is pretty darn amazing too. Oh, I get so excited to talk about this. <laughs> um, have you ever stopped to think about what exactly is in that blue dish soap? I mean, you I would, you know, back in the day before I knew about all this, I would have washed my cutting boards or whatever in that dish soap and then you're cutting your strawberries on this I mean come on like oh my gosh it just hurts my heart to think about what all I have put into my body and especially that of my children um and then on top of that why should I have to wear gloves or call poison control if someone ingests what is washing my dishes that I eat food off of like wait a minute so I kind of had a little wake-up call so when I did for so many years I used just hot hot water and vinegar again I was I was cheap and I was not gonna pay all that uber amount not to mention back in 20 years ago you could not find an all-natural dish soap like it was really hard to find a greenwashed dish soap but yeah the real stuff no yeah and um and honestly it worked terribly it really did but um it, it was really my only option because green cleaning was not yet a thing you know there wasn't a whole um, aisle at target so um i really am so thankful for this new generation of green cleaning and it is so much better than grandma's lye soap or my hot water and vinegar. <laughs> the Thieves dish soap has the power of cleaning off your toxic stuck on or, or cleaning off your the, the junk on your dishes and the grease and all of that stuck on stuff, but without the toxic chemicals of, you know, the blue stuff that we won't name and anything else of any other color <laughs> on the, on your Walmart shelves. So, um, but it doesn't come at a price for your health. And also our cleaner, our Thieves dish soap cuts the price of all those green washed products on the Target cleaning shelves as well. It is so inexpensive. And, um, it is, uh, we get three bottles of dish soap out of one. Now, I know some people like it a little more concentrated. Um, what I personally do is I take the a foaming hand soap dispenser. I fill it about a quarter of the way up with dish soap. You may could go half if you wanted to. And then I fill it the rest up with water and we pump that directly onto our sponges or uh, whatever it is that we're using to scrub our dishes. Um, I will also take, you know, a, about a tablespoon and put it into one of those clear scrubbers and I should have brought it in here, but you have like, I think Stacy has one, yeah. So I would take like maybe a tablespoon and put it in there, fill it up with water, use it that way. Um, but it really lasts us a really long time and I love it, it smells great and we can put our hands in it. It's soaking into our skin and building our immune system at the same time as we're washing dishes. So um, yeah, I absolutely love the dish soap. I've been using it now for uh, many years, probably five years, six years, a really long time. <laughs> so I feel like I've, I've proven it true at this point. We also use it for a lot of other things um my my teenage boys you know how they are about their shoes um they use a little bit of it to scrub up their tennis shoes and get them all white and clean again um i definitely use it for any type of stain removing that i need for laundry it works really really great uh for that as well so, um, and sometimes when I'm mopping the floor, I like to use a drop of it if I'm doing some really heavy duty cleaning. So I'll use a half cap of my thieves cleaner and a drop of the dish soap, um, usually directly on whatever I'm trying to scrub up off the floor. I also use it to clean my leather furniture. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but definitely test out a spot before you do this on yours. I don't want anybody coming back going, she ruined my furniture. But I have a white Italian made leather 
love seat that I love and adore. I also have six children. So <laughs> you can imagine what this love seat goes through. And um, I use that Thieves dish soap on just a hot rag that's just damp and a little bit of dish soap, like probably not even a drop and scrub down that white sofa. It works incredibly well. That's a good, a good tip. I'm going to have to try that on. We have uh, our seats in the Tesla are white. And so I'm going to go try that because they get kind of dingy. I'm going to try the dish soap. I bet that would be good. I haven't, haven't tried it yet. Um, yeah, I was noticing somebody was talking on here. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Uh, on the veggie wash. Audrea was saying um, she uses it in her, her laundry as a fabric softener for the towels and sheets. That's that's a good hack. We'll have to try that one for sure. Um, and Sydney said it gets rid of the waxy coating on fruits and veggies. That is so true. And that's on so many of our vegetables. They wax the apples to make them look shiny, to make them more look more appetizing. You don't want the, you don't be ingesting all that. Um, Rose says the scrub works good on rust too. That's a good tip. Sydney says she's used the dish soap to wash her hair. I heard a bunch of ladies talking about that on another call once. I had never heard that before. Um, but she was, uh, somebody else was talking about the thieves soap and putting it in her boy's shower because, you know, boys just get grimier than, than most people <laughs> and they need it. So that makes sense too. Um, so one thing I forgot to mention on the thieves scrub was the difference on why, you know, cause again, I used to use just the baking soda and it worked fine on a kitchen sink and things like that. It would get real nice and shiny, but I needed something heavier duty for showers and grout and all that. Um, and our thieves, um, uh, our thieves scrub uses, um, something called nepheline cyanide, which is a mineral that we get from responsibly mined sources in uh, Ontario. Um, it also uses baking soda, which helps it to absorb odors and sodium percarbonate that releases oxygen when combined with water. So that, that helps, that gives it more of a boost for that cleaning power uh, for stains and things like that. That's basically then, OxyClean without the chemical junk. Without the junk. Yeah. yeah. Which um, makes me wonder, I mean, I, I don't know if that would work or not, but um, if, the, if it would help with, a, you know, a really tough stain on a, a fabric, I'd be really careful with it because you wouldn't want to like scrub a hole in your cloth. But if if you made a paste with it or something, if that wouldn't help with a stain, I might try that. I posted, I posted a stain stick recipe that I have that works really it's well. Clock. That oh, you good. Put, like, you put hydrogen peroxide in it with the dishwashing liquid and the thieves cleaner. Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me know if you want me to put it on that recipe page and they'll, they'll all be okay. in one spot. I forgot about having that one. Sorry. No, that works. Um, okay. And then also in that bundle is the lemon and thieves essential oils. Both of those blends are in there and both of those oils are good, you know, boosters to give extra oomph to all of our cleaners, not to mention they're wonderful for diffusing. But um, I think Shanna had a few things she wanted to share on that one. So I'm going to. Yeah, I mean, the the Thieves essential oil, guys, all day long. You know what? That's not Thieves, it's purification. I grabbed the wrong bottle. <laughs> the purification, no, we, we are going to talk about Thieves. But um, the Thieves essential oil lasts forever, first of all. The, this bottle is 250 to 300 drops. It, it lasts forever. And it smells amazing like it smells so good so you're cleaning your house you're you know I would um back in the day before I joined Young Living before we even had household cleaner right I we didn't if we had it I didn't know it I I don't believe we even had the household cleaner yet so I would take the the thieves and add it to vinegar or bacon soda and that would be my my cleaner and um it just smelled so so good and then you're building your microbiome you're building your immune system all of that at the same time 
that you're cleaning. So that's just, it's, it's like a double whammy. Um, so, and it's such a great deal in that kit too. I often buy that kit myself um, just because it is such a great deal and I can just get all of those things all at once. The other oil that comes in that kit is the lemon oil. And um, guys, I just cannot say enough about lemon oil. It is liquid sunshine. So it's gonna boost your mood. So you put this in your cleaner. I have this in my natural bleach recipe, um, the non-toxic bleach. You can find that, Stacy has that um, in that link. So, um, but it just, smells amazing but at the same time you're supporting your liver and your kidneys you're balancing your electrolytes you're balancing your digestive system like it's just amazing to me that these things that we can clean our home with are good supportive things for our bodies to be ingesting like it blows my mind I've been here for a long time and I still just get blown away by that fact. Um, it just smells so good. I love it. I love lemon. If you're on a dark winter day and you're like, oh man, it's so gloomy outside, pull out your lemon oil. It's going to change your life. Um, and better yet, clean your whole house with it because then your whole house is going to smell like lemon all of the time. And I just can't think of anything better than that. And lemon really boosts the smells of a lot of other oils. So when this is combined with the thieves, it's amazing. It, it really is. It boosts the thieves smell um, just incredibly. So yeah, I love it. I can't say enough about it. it, was, it was, yeah. I love that stuff too. Sydney was saying she used thieves on her dryer balls and her neighbor was sitting outside and hovering over the fence. And when she asked him what he was doing, he told her the, that the best smell was coming out of her dryer vent. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I would, I, it's funny. I wouldn't have thought it would be strong enough for that, but yeah, I mean, it's when it, when it's carried out, when it's fresh like that, it, it carries the scent. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So, um, I thought I had one more thing. Oh, I want to talk about also, I mean, I, I just wanted to mention another thing, of course, and we all probably know this, but, um, is using lemon on, you know, labels or price tags that you can't get off a bottle I have had I've bought things before and I'm like really they had to put a tag a, a tag that's like melted onto the bottle on every single one of them when you have you know a whole crate of them or whatever or glasses that you buy from uh you know crate and barrel or wherever and they put a pr price tag that literally must have set out in the sun or something because it's melted onto the glass you turn all those glasses upside down and just put a drop of lemon on each one and let it sit there for a little bit and it'll just come peel right off. In fact, it, sometimes it'll literally, you'll come back and it's just lifted off the glass. You don't have to do anything. So it's pretty awesome. And then, it, you know, you just rinse it off and wipe it down. It smells amazing. Um, or sometimes it's been my own fault because I've made a DIY glass thing and put my label on there and I decided I didn't want that label on there and I can't get it off. So it's really helpful. Um, and again, especially if these are, if it's on something like a toy or something you're giving a child and you don't want to use, you know, something toxic to get it off. So it's mm -hmm. very helpful. Stacy, one time we, um, so this is a good tip for mamas because one time we were at the, um, this will take anything off of walls as well. Crayons, markers, this will take it off. And one time we were at a restaurant with Bonnie Rose. That's my six-year-old, you guys. She's she's wild. She colored with crayons all over the table. And it was an outdoor table. And so it's got all the little grooves. And the waitress brings over her spray. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We got this. <laughs> and I was with my oily friend, Verna. She's so beautiful. And she pulls out her lemon and she just puts a drop on the table, wipes that crayon right off. And the waitress was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it was amazing. So yeah, you need this for your walls, mamas. Yeah. Um, another thing you can use it for, this is a funny story, um, to get hair dye off of your hair hairline when you get your hair dyed. So I love my hairdresser, but she is, <clears throat> bless her heart, she's in her 20s, and she um, 
she does use oils for things but one day she every time I get my roots touched up I always have this like that's the only thing that she does that drives me crazy is she always gets hair dye all over my hairline right here so I'll like you know take a picture of my new hair or she takes a picture to put on a website and I'm like girl that hair dye is all over me I look like a freak but one day I kid you not she came at me with a bottle of Windex and was trying to wash the stuff. Oh off my goodness. Windex. And I said, what are you doing? And she said, just don't just, I know you think I'm crazy, but this works. She's like, I, I stopped buying the expensive stuff because this works better. And I was like, girl, I love you, but do not come at my skin with the Windex. <laughs> and I dry, I took my bottle of lemon out and I was like, girl, I'm going to show you something. And I took it off right there with that lemon. And um, she was like blown away, ordered some lemon, and now she uses lemon instead of Windex. So I'm saving the world. Good for you. See there? <laughs> I saved somebody's endocrine system. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, she should. There's lots of hacks you can give a hairdresser. Trust me, that's a whole nother conversation, but that's the truth. Okay, so I hope y'all see how, um, how many useful things you can swap out with that one bundle, I mean, it's amazing. These are these are things that they're going to save you money and they're going to save your health. And the best way to get these, of course, is to get it wholesale, which most of us are already getting it for the discounted price for 24% off, but also getting it on loyalty rewards. And all loyalty rewards means is you're going to be placing an order every month. It's an optional way to order. It's just like when you order something on subscription through Amazon, except in our case, when you order through subscription, you're earning points for free products. So that's what makes it even sweeter because not only are you getting a discounted product, but now you're earning points for free products up to 25% back each time you order every month. So I know people who have been on loyalty rewards for a very long time or the, the wife does, and the husband doesn't even realize all the discounts they're getting. So it, it that's the way it works. And that's a whole nother story too. But y'all, that's the way to get it. Make sure you're not wasting your money by, by paying it, by buying your stuff on a one-time order, because you could be placing it in a way that you're getting, you're getting points for free products. And that's the way to do it. And so whoever your enroller is, if you're not on loyalty rewards, make sure you go to them and ask them how all that works. And we won't, we're, we've gone over, so I won't get into all the details of that, but make sure you ask them. And if you need help and they're not available, you can come to me or Amy or Shanna, we're here too, but um, we'll explain it to you. Yeah, that's right. Almost 50% off when you add everything up. And that's not even counting all the freebies that you might be qualifying qualifying for um so yeah there's free gifts that come at different intervals and everything did you want to y'all ladies want to add anything before we close mm, anybody have any questions i do want to give a real quick story as to why this is so important guys and um i'll keep it super brief because i know that we have to go so i just i mentioned my daughter bonnie and um we've been green green cleaning for a really long time but i never realized that the lord was leading me to that to save her life one day and um I walked into the kitchen. She was about three years old and she was chugging a bottle of cleaner. And thank God it was thieves cleaner because she may not would have survived that. And um, I've been in the ER and heard kids coming in after they had drank bleach and them coding and horrible things that can happen. So I'm just so thankful. I'm so, so thankful that I had this non-toxic cleaner in my home that was food grade that would not hurt my daughter. It didn't taste good. Her tummy hurt a little bit because she shouldn't have been drinking it, but it did not harm her at all. And so, you know, I just have to say, you never know why you're making these decisions when you're led to make them, but there's always a really good reason down the line that goes so far beyond 
um, you know, just getting rid of the toxic fragrances or whatever. So I just an extra bonus that. that you could let your kids help with the cleaning earlier because <laughs> you don't have to worry about the toxic stuff. That was one of the things, one of the reasons that I wanted to make the natural things in the beginning too, was because I was, I was making um, a mixture of just lemon juice and water so that my kids could help. I thought they, they can go around the house and clean the windowsills with the lemon juice and water. Now, of course, I'm not, I'm not really wanting a film of lemon juice on there. So this works way better with the oils. So, um, and with the thieves cleaner. So, but now we don't have to worry about, you know, them poisoning themselves because we all know that that's dangerous, just like Shanna talked about. Just imagine. And sometimes have you ever seen kids uh, wanting to fight with a squirt bottle, like spray each other? <laughs> Not that my darling children would have ever done such a thing, but then you don't have to worry so much, right? All right. Well, y'all have, thanks for coming. Y'all have an amazing evening and um, thanks for coming with your green on. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day. Y'all have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Good night.